Adrian Chang here, Director of Customer Programs with Oracle Marketing Cloud. And I'm joined here with uh, Omar, who's the Global Marketing Automation Lead at Juniper Networks. Omar, how's it going? It's going great. Thanks for having me, Adrian. Good. Good, good, good. Talk to me a little bit about your role, your day-to-day, -day, what you're responsible for at Juniper Networks. Yeah, sure. My role at Juniper is really to manage all the marketing automation tools. Um, I as well manage the execution team, so anybody executing in Eloqua or some of the various tools for webinars and whatnot. Um, my main focus is integrations and implementations. Great. Great. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, and again, congratulations. A little known fact, I was at one point the customer success manager for Juniper. Uh, and congratulations on the mark you won last year for Best Lead Management Program. Uh, we're currently in the process of our 2017 campaign. Would love for you to talk through uh, how you helped uh, your team prepare last year's submission for the Markies. Definitely, definitely. Well, Juniper takes Marquee submissions pretty seriously. So our Marquee preparation really began even before the submissions opened. I'd say uh, when we build our processes or our projects throughout the year using the various tools, we always kind of joke around and say, make sure we're building it marquee worthy. We may joke, but really I think we are being serious about that. We're always trying to build the best, creating something cutting edge, and really have something to submit when uh, submission times come around. So the second part of the preparation really would begin when the categories get released. Um, this year we sat down, we brainstormed together, and decided which categories we should focus on and where we think we really have something mentionable. We then created smaller teams in charge of the submission, um, and we put a lead per submission. Th that lead would then interview anyone in the company who I guess would have some information that would be useful for that submission, and they also gather any data or screenshots or metrics. Um, when that's done, um, which for this year we're not done yet, um, but we would circulate the draft, uh, we'd review it, make final changes, submit, and then you know hope for the best, get our suits ready, our dresses, iron them, and get going. <laughs> awesome. No, that, that's great. And uh, it was great to be able to hand the team the award last year um, and that uh, pretty much everybody, at least 30 folks within, uh, within the organization were on stage to share the win. Uh, so talk me back about the motivation. So you went into quite a bit of detail. It's an integrated process. What would you say was the motivation for Juniper to submit last year and for you to take such an integrated approach? Yeah, so I mean for this one there's Juniper submitting and the motivation I think for Juniper, but I think there's also just the motivation for myself as well. So personally I've seen the marquees happen since really the inception. And I've always viewed the marquees and admired it as really the ultimate recognition from your peers, people in your space, um, you know, Oracle and back in the day Eloqua, letting you know what you've done or what you're doing is either remarkable or best in class. So, you know, just like the Emmy Awards or Grammys, uh, I don't know who wouldn't want to be recognized as a leader, I guess, in whatever they're doing in their space. So for me, that's where the motivation came. Uh, when I came to Juniper, I started you know, sending that message out that, hey, we got to start submitting for marquees and trying to get one. Like, let's get recognized. And it's not about just let's get recognized. Uh, as I said previously, let's start really using these tools for what they're made for and what they're, they're giving us the capabilities to do. Because, you know, some people scratch the surface or maybe a lot of people scratch the surface because the tools are so powerful. So let's try to, you know, harness these tools to do the best and then let's submit and, you know, hopefully win this marquee so we can all be recognized in the field. And that's where the motivation really comes from. And everyone was on board with that and we all got motivated. No, that's great. That's great. And, and thank you for sharing that and going through that level of detail. Uh, in, in different organizations that I've spoken with, it's 
you know, the lead up to the marquee and the preparation and, and collaborating and how to tell the story is one thing. But coming back into your organization after the ceremony and, and, and sharing to your corporation, hey, look, this is something that we were um, able to achieve. Talk to me about what has changed um, for you, your customers, and Juniper Networks since your win last year. Right, yeah, well, my desk has changed, I'll tell you that. There's a marquee on it. <laughs> but when we came back, I mean, first of all, being there, as soon as we were there, maybe 10, 15 minutes after, we started getting emails. So obviously somebody emailed back with the news, and news started traveling quickly. So um, then there were announcements, there was an intranet post, and what happened is we had the more energized environment. Um, more of a buzz. People were excited and motivated to get back and do it again. Like what are we doing from this year to next to repeat? Or where are we going now from here? What new features are we going to use? Uh, various people, various departments, they want to know more about what we're doing. They want to know more about the tools, about the future, like what are we going to be doing? Um, so it seemed to be giving us, I guess, more credibility with uh, teams, especially sales. Uh, other groups were aligned with like the web team, and we had a more attentive ear now from them. Um, they wanted to start listening or getting, I guess, um, you know, more advice from us on maybe what we should be doing. And they also they just wanted to get more aligned and more closer to us. So I think that's really the best advantage it gave us. And I'd say a transformation even started taking place where we started being able to attract um, better talent because other people who started applying for jobs wanted to be part of an award-winning organization. Now that we could say, yeah, we want a marquee, they wanna, they're interested in that and they want to apply to a company like that. So that took place. And even other people within internal teams at Juniper uh, actually wanted to come over to our team, and we did end up hiring one person from another team as well as doubling our team size due to the ability for people now to want to do more with the tools which required more resources. That's fantastic. So there's a lot that you included there, uh, it, a lot of buzz and excitement, uh, a lot of trust, there's, uh, you know, I'd say the increase in trust and excitement and buzz as it relates to marketing as a function, and just raising the game and profile for employees at Juniper. It's all, all, all really awesome stuff. Um, Definitely. So, so the next question I'm going to ask you is in terms of the future. So uh, I know that Juniper has continued to make different kinds of investments in the marketing cloud. And so I'd love for you to just take, a, you know, take some time and talk about what's in store for the future, especially given all of the success that you guys have achieved so far. Yes, yeah, so as I just mentioned, we've actually doubled the marketing automation team size since the marquee win. Um, and what we've also done is we've brought on board Blue Kai DMP as well as Maximizer. We have uh, weekly meetings now with the CMO regarding these tools um, and how they fit together, the integrations, and what the strategies are and the use cases to use them. And we're really excited actually for the new capabilities and combining them in the projects that's given us the ability to complete now. And that really is the future. The future is to help keep the momentum going and to build this ecosystem um, with these tools that's, that's going to take us right into the future. Um, the other thing is, as I said even previously, various teams now are more aligned. So we have um, an extension of the web team, um, which is the developers of the web team are actually on board kind of leading um, the DMP, so the Blue Kai DMP. We have more of the web team involved in Maximizer. So whereas in the past, it was the marketing automation team almost in isolation requiring help from others. Now we are actually more aligned as one greater team um, with all the goal to, to make these tools successful and make Juniper successful with these tools. Awesome. So it's, you know, the alignment, 
I heard a lot about alignment. Uh, I've heard that you're now pursuing uh, opportunities to be smarter, use the data that moves between uh, the products and, and to be more personal. And so, you know, the, it's really a testament to you guys really, really partnering uh, and, of course, you're a rock star and understand how it is to build the right digital ecosystem to help your customers. So again, congratulations and all the success. My final question is around any advice that you would give a customer who is looking to submit uh, for the first time. Given you've seen the program evolve over the past uh, now 11 years, it would be great to get some nuggets for you in closing as to how you would motivate a new customer to submit or someone who hasn't submitted at all in, in the history of the market? Yeah, I think that the first thing would be to look through the categories and understand where you could focus on or where you are, your company is focused on. Um, think about what you're doing uh, at your company that relates because I think sometimes a lot of people may overlook the fact that they are doing great things. As I said, the tools are very robust and sometimes you may not be using much of the tool or you don't feel like you're using much of it. But even with a small you know, percentages of the tools that you're using, it, you could still achieve great things with it and remarkable things that are award uh, worthy. So um, definitely don't discount what you're doing at your company or your organization. Um, focus in on that and then brainstorm how to put that story together. I'd also say the key is making sure while doing your projects and whatnot that you're going to submit is making sure you have a good amount of metrics to show um, or screenshots to back up, I guess, your submission. Um, but the first thing to understand, I think, is not to, not to look at the past winners of marquees or how big the celebration has got and have that demotivate you, have it motivate you and know that with the tools you're probably doing great things. So get yourself a submission and just go ahead and submit and see what happens. That's great, Omar. Uh, and I think the, what I f feel most about Juniper's win is that it really is a celebration of the alignment and all the progress that you guys have made uh, as a marketing leading organization. So. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with me, Omar. Uh, for those who are listening, and, you want, and if you're looking for more information about the Marquis, uh, please feel free to visit marquis-awards.com uh, for information about the program, historical winners like Juniper Networks, uh, as well as when to participate for any future Marquis campaigns. With that said, it's Adrian Chang, Director of Customer Programs at Oracle Marketing Cloud, signing off.